Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com. My name's James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2017 Nissan Navara Tecna. It's a 2.3 DCI, 190 brake horsepower vehicle. It's done 14,000 miles and it's got full Nissan service history. Today I'm going to be doing a walk around video. So I will show you all the panels. I shall show you the wheels and the tires. I'll show you in the back. I'll show you inside the vehicle. Um, I'll show you everything working inside there as well. I'll also show you under the bonnet and also I'll show you the chassis and underneath as well. We've been doing these videos for quite a while now. We find them really successful. So obviously if you see the video, you're happy with what you see and you want to purchase the vehicle, that's no problem at all. Um, the only thing that we'll require is a deposit to secure it. And then obviously the payment can be made afterwards. Um, we can also deliver the vehicle for you as well. If you require to do finance, that's something that we can do for you over the telephone. The only thing that we ask for is a deposit to cover the VAT. Okay, so um, I am going to record the video in HD, so obviously whatever you're watching it on, just make sure it's on the best possible setting for this. Um, if you've got any questions after you've watched the video, you think I've missed something, you want to see something in a bit more detail, it's not a problem. All my contact details will be at the end of the video on the very last page. Right, so let's start. Start with the bonnet and we'll work our way around. I can tell you, um, obviously we're 14,000 miles on the clock, 2017. Um, there's not a great deal to show you, but obviously I will endeavour to show you anything that is there. Um, obviously, I, I didn't mention the fact that there's a remaining amount of five years or 100,000 miles Nissan manufacturer's warranty on the vehicle as well. Okay, so there are a couple of tiny stone chips. Um, they're not actually that visible i've got to be honest but um there's a tiny tiny thing there I don't know if you can see that it's just a dot and there's another one there you, oh it is showing up it is tiny i mean literally tiny that's the only thing i can see on the bonnet let's work our way around they're like getting my words out work our way around the front bumper the only thing with it being white it's glaring in the sun so you actually Getting anything to show up quite difficult. I've waited till the afternoon to do it. But I can still tell you there's hardly anything on it anyway. So there's nothing on there at all that I can see. Let's work our way into the front bumper, uh, sorry, front wing, driver, uh, passenger side, get my words out today. I promise you I've not been drinking. So there's nothing to show you on the wing. Hopefully you can see from that. It's quite difficult to see in the light. But there aren't any dints anyway. So, um, passenger side front wheel and tyre. It's a Continental tyre. And as a bit of a guesstimate, I would say the six or seven mil. Wheels in good condition. Obviously this vehicle is a Tecna, so um, you'll see there are cameras under each mirror. There's a camera under the badge there, and there's one at the back, which gives you the 360 degree overview, which is really cool. And I will show you working in a few minutes when I get inside. Right, let's work our way around and down the sides. There's no obvious marks, scratches or dints. I can't see anything sticking out at all. Hopefully you can see that. Side steps are in good condition as well. Rear quarter. Obviously you'll notice that these have got two caps for fuel. One's for fuel, one's for add blue. So hopefully that will get you underneath the congestion charge if you've got one near you. So the rear quarter, again, there's nothing that's obviously sticking out at all. There's nothing dodgy on it, no scratches or marks. There's no dints, so that's good. So rear wheel and tire, again, it's a Continental and the wheel is, as you can see, in great condition. Rear tire, I'd guess seven, maybe eight mil. Probably the same as the front, to be honest with you. Probably it's easier to see on that one because there's no muck in it. So rear quarter, light, 
Um, quite a nice thing to look at on these, the chrome. Um, they do get damaged quite easily. I've seen a few that have got little dents and they do stick out like sore thumbs. This one has got nothing on it that side. And it's got nothing on that side either, so it's been looked after, obviously. Not been parked care in there. Not been parked without care. Rear door. Again, it's in great condition. There's no marks on it. There's that rear camera. It's got a tow bar. These will obviously tow three and a half ton. So that's a nice thing for it. In the back. Obviously, you'll know that that's a central locked door part of the normal standard equipment in the back you can see straight away it's not had a hard life um, they do not take a lot of battering and they do show up any marks so obviously it's not been carrying anything really heavy okay so the rear quarter let's work our way down as you see the second fuel cap and again there's no marks or dents on there at all Okay, so rear wheel and tyre, again, you can see it's a Continental and the wheel is in great condition, as is the tyre, it's matching to be honest with you, 8 mil at least, I would have thought. Let's work our way down. Again, I can't see any marks on it at all. White is very unforgiving actually, to be fair, you do see anything on these quite easily. Um, it's obviously been loved and looked after, which is nice to see. Okay, so finally, um, the front wing. And again, it's the same, it's in really great condition. So, driver side front wheel and tyre. Again, you can see that the wheel is in fantastic condition, as is the tyre. And I'm happy to report, it is a matching set of Continentals all around. So it's a really good quality set of tyres on it, and they've all got really great tread. I'd say six, seven, eight, or seven or eight mil, something like that. Okay, so as I explained to you before, it's a Techno. So this one is keyless entry, keyless go. So as long as you put the key in your purse and you can press that button. This one's already open, so you can tell me off. But you press that button, it opens it. Um, you get the keys out in your pocket. You press it again and it'll lock it for you again. So inside it's black leather in fantastic condition. As you'd expect with 14,000 miles, it's, <laughs> it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Excuse me, sorry, my camera's having a wobble for the minute. So we've got electric windows times four, and then obviously you can lock all your doors from here and your windows, electric folding mirrors, and also you can control your mirrors too. Um, you've got your parking control, stability, uh, fuel cap, etc. So the driver's side seat is electric. Generally speaking, the passenger one isn't. I can check that in a minute to see if it is. Um, so normal stuff, forwards, backwards it'll go all the way up so if you're a bit shorter make it comfortable for you and if you're a bit taller you can bring it all the way down as well back goes forwards and backwards and also you've got bolster support as well as you can see nice extra let's jump in um, show you the media center and the reversing camera we'll start it up excuse me switch that off aircon does work Okay, so we've got DAB as standard. Um, let's have a quick look at that reversing camera because it is really good. It's telling me, obviously, you've got reversing sensors. You can see I'm quite close to the rear bush. It doesn't like that. If you press the camera button again, it does give you the left-hand view, which I really like personally because if you, when you're reversing, you don't want to damage your wheels on the, uh, on the curb. It's also got um, arguably one of the best navigation systems. Um, I like the fact that it tells you to slow down if you're in a bit too quick and there's a speed camera. Nothing else to be said on that one. Um, CD player, SD card slot, and also down here, hopefully you can see, uh, there's a USB and auxiliary as well. Switchable four-wheel drive system here. Can do it when you're moving, to be honest with you, I'd generally say it's worth stopping, dropping your clutch and changing it. It's obviously going to increase the life of your vehicle. Hill descent, and obviously you can lock your doors from there as well. Uh, passenger and front seats are heated high and low and they do work I check them um, on the steering wheel on the right hand side you've got your cruise control and your mobile phone and on the left hand side is your media center 
let's just switch that off. Let's have a quick look at the seats. The seats are nice and firm, as you'd expect. It's done low mileage, nice and clean. Everything's very subtle. Let's have a quick look at the passenger seat as well. Much the same. In fact, I'd, I'd say that the passenger seat looks to me like it's probably never been used, to be honest. It doesn't look like it's been sat in. As in all the rear seats as well, which I'll just show you again in a little bit more detail. So as you can see, the door cards in the back, they're all nice and clean. As I say, it doesn't look to me like the rear seats have been used at all. Maybe, a very occasionally. It's probably been used as a director's vehicle. As you can see, there's a spare plate, so obviously maybe for towing. Right, let's pop the bonnet. That's the AdBlue cap. Just drop that. Okay, so under the bonnet, Again, no real shocks. It's in exceptionally clean condition. There's no oil around the turbo. It's very clean. Everything looks as you'd expect it to, I suppose. Let's have a quick look underneath. Just alter my camera. Gotta be honest, I can't see very much because it's a bit dark. But I can tell you it's very dry if you can't see. And it's very clean okay so i'm going to end the video there hopefully um, i've showed you everything that you potentially need to see obviously like i said to you before you know if there's anything else that you want to see um or if you want to see something else in more detail please give us a shout and i'll be happy to do that for you no problem at all thanks for your time bye bye